Okay, here's an external uh, CD, DVD and Blu-ray recorder. It has one USB cable which has two ends. And let's just insert one of the USB cables. Not that way, but upside down into that USB port. Okay, I don't want to use the next uh, plug, so let's see if it works this way. Press that button to eject that small tray. Okay, and let's see these double layer DVDs. So it's 8.5 gigabytes. The disc is white. Let's open that tray better. That's the disc itself. It is purple. Okay, push it down in the center and pull in that small tray like so. The green LED is on. It already generated some noise. It will start spinning it. Okay, now let's see here on the PC. So I'm using Nero Burning Room. Let's go here to File and Open. And I want to get the ISO from that path. Copy. Let's paste it down here to the file name. Paste and either enter or open. Okay, so that's the ISO file. It's a 7.9 gigabyte ISO file. Open it. We have some DVD options here. Nothing there. It will write it and finalize it. That just appeared. The DVD drive is detected by Windows itself. Let's go here to Info. It's showing the available disk space and the ISO file. Okay, let's click on Burn. Let's see what happens. And it's giving us this option to save the files. No, we don't want that. So let's just close it. Once again, it was detected, the disk. It's inside the drive, but it's generating an error message, so I should insert it into another USB port. Let's try that one. The disk is loading once again. The LED is blinking. Okay, so let's go here to Recorder. Choose Recorder. Okay, now this is the image recorder only. That's not good. We want a hardware one. We don't want to burn only an image file. No more options. Now here we have it. So it just appears. So select that one. Okay, so with the physical device blank DVD. Okay, so with the physical device selected, click OK. Now it is available here also. HLDTSD. Let's go here to open. Open that ISO file. Okay, let's set it to a lower speed, only 2.4, not maximum. Verify the written data. I check that one. Surface scan also. And let's just click on burn. Let's see what happens. The disk is working inside. Something is happening. Okay, so later, as you can see, the burn process started. It is a little bit completed and everything seems fine. Remaining time more than half an hour. So we have to write 8 gigabytes onto that disk. The green LED is blinking, so everything looks fine. And we are using just one USB connector. The other one, as you can see, it's not necessary. Okay, and later the burning process finished both layers 100%. It's not totally finished, the LED is still blinking. Something is still happening. Yes, now it's verifying the entire surface of the disk. Each and every sector of the disk is being verified. Currently those dots are green. The green should be okay. The green is good, yes. Okay, so already 45 minutes passed. And that's the clock. So we have to wait. This is an optional portion. The disk was already written. 
now it's only verifying it okay and now it's approaching the end everything is good everything is green inside here the LED is still blinking so it's still verifying it and it's about to be finished the disk is being ejected yes that's it so we just burned an ISO file of a DVD onto a DVD itself surface scan ok successful ok close that's it thanks for watching and let's take out the disk the writing is visible on the edge as you can see and it's totally white okay that's it thanks for watching and bye bye